And Mrs. Murphy's a bit all right too, and he's sort of having a, a few conflicting interests in the daughter and Mrs. Murphy. So. Someone said, who did you write this song about? I said, well, actually, I started writing a real serious song about a bloke called Murphy that did a few crook things to people in town, and it, I don't know how it morphed into this, but it just morphed into this sort of song. So I don't know where this song come from, but one thing I can show you, it's just wrong. <laughs> but anyway... Mrs. Murphy let your daughter out of good, good intentions. One thing you're trying to save her from that was gone. Months ago, when I must compliment you on your fine, fine daughter, did you teach you about love? Is it a natural thing? Headed down through the Murphy jeans. First time it's in my daddy's car and he's eight year old. Second time underneath the stars on a wall and blanket down a ten dollar road. And I've lost count of loving on the couch and the table that holds just some machine. It's fun getting into the Murphy jeans. And I promise you I didn't push you and do anything. She was a strong persuader, manipulated all the situations we found ourselves in. They say, take a long time, love away. Look at the mother. Mother, what a mother you are. I've had a fantasy of three about you, Mrs. Murphy, and your daughter. Mrs. Murphy got the summer top on, he looked so tempting. Through the sun I can see your farm, and oh, mama, you got it going on. But I promise you I'm dedicated to your daughter, but I can't help be tempted by these things. Seeing you in your Murphy jeans. Push you into anything She was a strong persuader Manipulated all the situations We found ourselves in They say Take a long time, love away Look at the mother Mother, what a mother you are I've had a fantasy of three about you Mrs. Murphy and your daughter and me Mrs. Murphy let your daughter you right I got good intentions Thank you very much. I think I'll do one more because we've got a few, one more, we've got a few acts to get through. Um, awesome turn up, this is great. People upstairs there. Got the, the, what, how much you pay for them tickets? Up there, wouldn't they? The higher you get up there, the more you have to pay. Um, this is called uh, Hole in My Heart. About um, a few losses in my life. My old man, who was a good old Mally bloke, good old farmer fella, loved his log cabin tobacco, rolling his cigarettes, and loved his beer and stuff. And he'd read anything, and I remember watching him reading bloody the works of William Shakespeare, and then he'd read, be reading Banjo Patterson from those, um, you know, those Western comics. Remember them things, the Western comics? He would just read them until he just read anything. So. And uh, about and about three people that passed in the life. I put this song together, so it's called Hold of My Heart. There's a hole in my heart that the wind blows through every time it does. I think of you, and it hurts so bad. 
There's a ghost that hides between every rhyme No matter how clever my heart's still dying And it scares me so Shakespeare and Banjo, they're sitting on the fence They're saying, man, we could never put words to this No tale could ever describe No page could contain the stories of us there's a hole in the sky that the rain falls through No matter where I move, I get wet through And it's drowning my soul There's a faith that cries between the truth and lies There's no more room and no compromise And it's wearing me so thin Bob Dylan, Paul Kelly, they're sitting on the fence to see a man we can never put words to this. No song could ever describe, no tune could contain the stories of us. Such a wave of emotion covers my There's a black crow calling in the breeze tonight Telling everybody everything's alright Long as the song still lives There was a cloud that covered your name for a while But when we think of you it starts to shine And we take great comfort in that Ah, oh, brother, you'd never be sitting on the fence. You'd be the man that put words to this. You'd have the way to describe. You'd have the way to contain the stories of us. Thank you very much. And I'm not sure who's next, but can I unplug?